Breaking news, Prophet Uber Angel is in the news again and he says, I destroyed President Lungu of Zambia. I destroyed him. I cut his career short. I made him homeless <laughs> and useless. These are harsh and hard. Woo! The prophet is, is going crazy right now. I need you guys to see this video. Prophet Uber Angel's beef with President Lungu of Zambia, ex-president Lungu of Zambia, I believe. Ex-president Lungu of Zambia. And guys, it's my Boston. Let's watch this. Mine, I will prove to you on the screen. I cut short that person's political career. Ah, I've already started now. The Bible says of Judas, let his bishopry, another one should take his bishopry. I speak, mem. Your position shall be taken by another. In the name of Jesus. Your days are numbered. Forget about 6 a.m. on Friday. I've already solved it here. And it's live. My mouth has spoken it. It's obvious who I mean. Take it the way you like it. If the shoe fits, please. Wear that sucker. When Lungu did this to me, I went back to UK. I spoke the following day on TV, it's still there. I said, this time, the Lord will rig your elections and you will lose. Is he not home now? Listen, sir, ma'am, in this realm, there are gatekeepers. If you get into the circle of finance, of accounting, they are gatekeepers. Even in America, there is Marilyn Lynch. Marilyn Lynch. Then there is all this. They, they, they are the Rothschilds. You can tell these are the gatekeepers of finance. In the prophetic, sir. Ma'am, I heard the whole thing. Everyone in the prophetic is my assistant. I hold the keys for this prophetic now. Let me explain to you. There are prophets of notable signs and wonders. That's a category. Then there are prophets. As for you, but angel, I'm purely prophetic. Even my healing is because of prophecy. In that region, when you talk about Musowich Profita. The fine grains of the prophetic. When you squeeze the prophets to the last drop and said, This one prophecy is over, I will not be found in the sack you squeezed. I'm the one holding all the drops. I'm the biggest stakeholder in the prophetic. Like it, hate it, say what you like. Listen, now hear this. Are there categories? Yes. There are prophets who do this, teaching prophets, this prophets, this prophets. All I'm saying is. So what really, what really happened between Lungu and Prophet Be Angel? The truth of the matter is, Prophet Be Angel was denier, denied sorry, entry into Zambia one time. And this, this is an issue that happened long ago, right? And I think it, go, it really got to prophet. And then, you know, he, he made pronunciations, declarations that Lungu is going to lose elections and he lost the election and now he's home. <laughs> Don't joke with prophets. And I think that really got to him because 
if he didn't get to him, he wouldn't even be here talking about it yet again. But come to think of it, why would why would Prophet be denied entry into Zambia though? On what premise? You know, you know that Prophet Bishiri was deported from South Africa. And it was on the premise of businesses. But come to think of it, what do you think? Do you think it was necessary for that to happen? Because I read the incident that happened and I saw no fault with Bushiri's own. And then with this one, I also saw no fault with Prophet Ibrahim, right? And so what is actually happening? And Zambia, aha, come on. If you are looking for a place to deny profit entry to a country, Zambia, come on, stop joking. If it's not for political uh, ambitions, like selfish ambitions of the leaders and all that. Do you know Prophet Benjo? What he can do for your country? This is a businessman. It goes even, should I say, it goes beyond the prophetic. He's a versatile man. I think this thing really goes to the man, right? And so I think he's trying to attack another person. When Silo, the program that will commence maybe in two days' time. And he said, nah, I'm going to do it right here, now. It, it has to even start from here, before we start heading to Silo, right? Lumbu. <laughs> this is amazing, right? So, come to think of it, I feel, I feel like some people have to be taught lessons to really correct their reactions or actions against prophets. Because why would you do that? Same thing has been done to Bushir. Bushir is banned from entering South Africa. He's deported. He can't enter the country. When Bushiri enters South Africa right now, I think he's going to be put in custody. The same thing happened to um, Prophet Sun, who is in Sri Lanka. I have to re remember this name. Jerome, Jerome, he got arrested for preaching against the traditional ways of Sri Lanka. And he got arrested, put in custody for some days, weeks. And so unless these things happen to these people of political power, the worst is going to happen, happen to these prophets. So the only way you could prove that, okay, I'm the real deal is to approach things like how prophet is approaching them. So this is the whole banter between prophet Uber Angel and Lungu. Guys, make sure you subscribe, share, like this video. What's your, what are your thoughts on this? This is my presentation, but what are your thoughts? Make sure you subscribe, share, like. My name is Shoda Nixon.